You, you got all the way up? Yeah. Okay, so what's up, guys? Number one, it's Greg Hi. here and Dookie from Team Hybrid BMX. So, Dookie <laughs> tried to go from right here to about right here. He jumped and he cased it right about near. And like he cased it hard, like super hard. So, flat tire. So, oh no, that should be the end of our ride session. Not. That's because Duke's smart and he brought an extra tube. So we're gonna head back to the car, switch out the tube, pump, pump it up, and then get our butts back over here, ride for a little bit longer, and give you guys maybe some clips today. Yeah. Oh, I'm doing it. So here we are, guys. We got the phone set up. See, this is awesome. He's got his bag ready with all his tools, an extra tube, a little bike pump. See, Dookie G is prepared always. He is always prepared. Unlike me, I, I'm never prepared for anything. I have to go back to my garage. Judge. By the way, I made progress on the scooter that night. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, I cut that little bar out. The only problem is I, I still need to fit the, the back wheel and make sure it, it, it's going to stay. I think it's going to work, though. I think it's going to work. We just need to find another 18 inch bike. We need to find another 18 inch bike so we can take the front wheel off of it. Which we should be able to find one on like Craigslist or something like that for cheap. My... To build a mega scooter. I forgot my pop, my trim popper. Your trim popper? Yeah, the little, little car. Yeah, I know uh, what it is. Car trim popper. Yeah, I know what's up. Yeah, for taking the, like taking the tire off. Yeah, you get that. You Use your man hands. Use your man hands. Get off them bitch hands. <laughs> Use your man hands. Do now, your dance. If anybody wants to know, last time this tube was changed, probably about four and a half years. Jeez. That's how long it's been in here. I think that's gonna be like dry rotted when you pull it out. <laughs> Dude, I like this new track, man. It's not bad, I don't mind it. <coughs> this is cool. What what is it? A, track. A, a surface. A surface track. Yo, I like this though. This is a nice little dirt kind of tire. I like it. Yeah, I or I uh I ordered tires just the other day. I bought uh Colt D Hearts. Nice. And all gum. Oh, that's gonna be cool gum looking. Gum tread with black sidewalls. Dude, that's gonna be dope. See, see guys, Dookie G, even though he's an old school rider, he's trying to fit in. <laughs> he still busts my ass, as you guys saw when, you know, he started the video. <laughs> see, I'm surprised this is not dry rod. The thing that I like is that Duke is finally riding 3 ace. That's like true 3 yes, yes. That's ha ha, ha ha. I took finally. a step up in the class. You did. You, you moved up. You, you, you graduated. Okay. I want you guys to see this. You see this? Pretty. Demolition, anorexia, rear, nine tooth, 14 millimeter, hollow axle. They don't make these anymore. Nope, but they're awesome. If you can find one, buy one. If you can find one, <laughs> buy one. This is what we're talking about, guys. With the, that part's really not that old. I mean, that was what, 2008? Uh, no, 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 oh. it's newer than that. It's like 2012, at least. 2011, 2012. I put the bike down. Let's see, Legend was born in 2014. You bought so that in 2012. I want to say from 2014 and back, I want to say like three, three or four years. Yeah, I'm thinking 2012 is when you bought that. 2012 or 2013. Yeah when you bought that bought that rim so that's not that old guys i mean it's a couple years but i it's mean still it still works it still runs i mean i need to get it true but other than that it's a good rim it's, it's a, a good fucking rim. awesome rim fix a flat pumping 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 <laughs> flabby pumpin', tube pumpin', pumpin'.
I'm surprised how long that tire has lasted, dude. That's, that's pretty incredible. Dude, honestly, when I showed Huey that I still had this, he's like, dude, that's nuts. <laughs> because I even showed Nick. I'm like, dude, I still have the GLH tire that you gave me when you stopped riding. <laughs> he's like, no fucking way. Show me. So I show him, he's like, holy fucking shit. I told you. I don't lie. I don't lie. When I say I still have something, I still have. Now, I hope they're they're being real about uh, they're being real about wanting to come down to Woodward. That'd be really cool. Uh, they seemed like they were pretty pumped about it. Like I told Huey about it, he's like, "Dope, dude. Just let me know when." You know him. He'll be he'll be the. Well, it, he'll be my film editor. Yeah, he will be. He'll he'll film. Period. He'll love to film. We we have this buddy JJ Huey. We call him the Blackness. Darkness. The Darkness. He is the coolest dude ever. He is very very cool. He is one of the smartest guys I know. He's been in college for like ten years, <laughs> but uh, he finally got out of college, and he's just—he is just the coolest dude ever. He's super smart. I went to oh, elementary school after with him. That thing with Mandy, he kinda... Yeah. <coughs> but either way, yeah, JJ is a cool dude. You guys will get a kick out of him, and he's—he's he's a character too, so he'd be fun to to have on our episodes sometimes for sure. Alright, fellas, you see this? This is a five minute fix. If you come prepared, Brody, do me the honor. Yeah, what do you need, bud? Break. Mm hmm. Hold on. Let me know when. You good? Yep. Okay. This is an old trick, guys. If you have a buddy with you and they have brakes, you put on their brakes, it automatically trues their wheel out and keeps it centered. And it also holds the chain so that you don't have to do anything. Yo. Oh. All you have to do is tighten up the back end and you're good to go. Now mind you, if you completely tighten one side, it, it, will, will, it will go on true. Yep, it'll go on true. Do it little by little so that it, the wheel stays centered enough to where you can get, still keep the tire towards the back. Now notice, I still didn't pump it. If you keep the tire unpumped, you can you can still take it off in no time at all because there's still no air in it. You can adjust your brakes. You don't need to worry about this yet. Just worry about positioning the tire. Yep. Honestly, it's like a five minute fix. It really is, especially when you got a partner to kind of like just do some basic stuff to help you out. That's why I like riding with people because it can make th this situation can make riding and miserable. It always helps if you come prepared. Mm -hmm. All right, Bert, you know you good. And there we go. Five minute repair, guys. From Team Iber BMX, it's like three o'clock in the morning, and uh, Dookie was on the phone handling some business. And I was over there on that ledge, and I think I finally almost got feebles dialed. I was right. Pegs were on the totally wrong side of my bike, and that was exactly why I was having issues. So, oppo grinds, I'm a long way from oppo grinds, but my regular grinds, I'm finally, I think I'm finally getting there. So, let's check it out. Oh, oh you pull off. You pull off. You gotta pull off. Yes! This feeble grind! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Knew I didn't have it. Watch the, watch the goons. Knew I wasn't going to uh, engage that peg. That's it. You really have to kind of pull yourself into believing that peg's going to hold your weight. Oh. You really have to pull yourself into believing. That peg's gonna full, hold your full weight. If you watch, it's harder for taller riders too, because if you watch Big Boy on Scotty Cramner's channel, anytime he does a feeble, and he admits to this too, he leans back into it because as a bigger, as a taller rider, 
it's really hard to keep yourself centered over the top of the bike. And that's where I was struggling so much. That and I had the pegs on the wrong side. You guys always want to have your pegs. I think I was trying to explain this in another video, but now I can really explain it. This is my front foot. You want your pegs on your back foot side because if you do start getting wobbly or whatever, you can just put your foot down. And honestly, when you're trying to go into the grind, if you watched my previous video where I was trying to do feebles, your feet will blow off. Your, your front foot's gonna blow off every time because it can't take that impact immediate to your to this way because you're gonna go like this and it's gonna knock you off balance. So it's always, always, always when you're starting to learn how to do grinds, ride with this side. Eventually, I'm hoping to get there, but right now I'm just happy that I'm lear I'm learning feebles and I'm actually I actually just Yay! landed. So, new trick. New trick. In the back. Which I probably won't ever do because I don't like pegs. I hate pegs. Oh, I had it too. <laughs> <laughs> you got one good solid one. I'm gonna practice these off camera, get better at them, and then I'm gonna give you guys some nice clips with them. Maybe start 180 out of them and stuff. But let's just start off small with Greg practicing these, with me practicing these. Why did I just talk about something third person? <laughs> He's so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I finally landed one. I can't wait to watch that clip. So you guys have a great night. We're gonna get some clips of Dookie, hopefully getting that gap over there. Meow. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you guys in a little bit. Deuces. Thinking, thinking about it. Thinking about it. Oh, you're scared of it now. Come on, Dookie G, you got this. Yeah, yeah, that's all right, that's all right. Everybody on YouTube right now is like, Dookie G, Dookie G. Come on, you got this, bro. Come on, you got this, homie. All right, so the issues that Dookie's having is he just got these new, I forgot to even bring them into the video. He's got these new forks and they're he's not used to three ace axle forks yet and they are i mean a lot of people say well they're not lighter they are they are much lighter the rim is lighter riding 14 it's, millimeter for so you so many years and then going to this is a totally different ball game so i'm not yeah. going to force him i'm not going to force him and he got a new stem i'm not going to force him to do this i'm not going to force him to to push into this too much and he thinks his bars need to be a little bit lower so i'm not going to push him into this trick tonight I mean, it'd be really cool to see him land it, but it. We'll, it we'll, we'll definitely get it one of these days for sure, guys. Um, however, if I know Dookie and I know myself, it's like th almost three, probably three thirty in the morning almost. Uh -huh. So we're gonna try to get some riding in, guys. Uh, just us. So um, yeah, give us just a minute. We'll give you a, a, a rundown here. What is up, guys? It is Greg and Dookie. Bruh. So. We are going to end this riding session out. Um, we're going to try to ride for a little bit off camera. Because um, I know you guys love to see the videos and stuff. But sometimes we just need to have some just ride time. Nothing real exciting for me tonight. I kind of cased it earlier and psyching myself out about simple thing that I know I can do. It's just. But it's, it's late. We don't, we're both running on little sleep. So. You know, it's just one of those things where sometimes you gotta know 
You gotta know, you when, gotta to know when to call it. Because if, if you try to do something that you're not comfortable with, and that's the thing, guys, like don't let your friends like pressure you too much. If they know you can do it and you feel like you can do it and it's just you're just psyching yourself out too much on something that's small, it makes sense. But on a big gap like this, you could really hurt yourself. Um, uh, you know, and that's that's where I'm at with that. I, I don't force my friends to do stuff that I know that could put them in the hospital. So, um, and that's the thing, guys. Like, don't force your friends. If you see a trick that you know your friends like not having, a, he's having a hard day with it. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. I saw I saw a kid when I was riding at Shebang Skate Park do that. He was just having a rough night. He was having a hard night. He wasn't landing anything, and he's like, I'm gonna go ride the bull one more time, I think. And as soon as he said, I think, I knew something was gonna happen. And he went up into the extension and he pulled an X up and he, he got tangled up in it. He did a 180 X up and he got tangled up in it and he ate the bottom of the bowl and I watched his teeth literally blow out of his mouth. Um, it just, it was not a pretty sight. He tore up his lip and everything. It's just not a good way to end your session. You know what I mean? You got busted teeth now and a busted lip, probably gonna have to have surgery. That's just not the way to do it. So if you guys feel Don't uncomfortable, if you guys feel uncomfortable with something, then then don't do it. So, or at least save it for another day. Don't don't give up. Just save it for another day. Save it for another sesh. And speaking of saving it for another sesh, I hope you guys have a great night. Um, make sure you check us out on here. Like, share, subscribe. Hit us up on Instagram. Um, I'm gonna try to put up my feeble grind on Instagram because I was I was very get happy with that tonight. Something and get him up on Insta too. So. Either way, guys, um, if you're down in Florida, I just wanted to say um, I'm praying for you and I'm hoping the best for you. Um, Everybody that's gone through everything in Texas, you know, you guys had that humongous hurricane flow through there, all the flooding. I wish I wish everybody, you know, my prayers, you know, the best of absolutely best of everything. As far as, you know, my my girl's family has family in Florida. Yep. And in Puerto Rico. And I so, have fl family in Florida, too. So, so we're all praying. Which, by the way, Micah, Dad, Leah, kids, I'm, I'm uh, just praying for you. Mm -hmm. I'm glad you guys went up to Alabama, mm -hmm. but I'm also hoping the storm doesn't come that way. So um, just I'm praying for you that it'll, mm -hmm. it'll move away from you guys. And same to you, Mom, in Alabama. I know you got. I know you all watch these, these videos uh, pretty fervently. So I, I appreciate the viewership, but I also appreciate you guys being safe. And getting out of Florida and realizing, you know, the the ramifications of this storm. Uh, even though you live in the upper part of Florida, it doesn't matter. This no. is, I mean, I I can't believe that like Adam LZ and and like Austin like Augie flew these down there. Nuts. They like, flew halfway across the country. Like Adam LZ, I understand. Like you live down there, man. But like, dude. You live in Orlando, Florida. That's one of the spots that's supposed to get smashed, bro. Like, I mean, you're uh, Miami, you, you Orlando. And, I mean, like, I'm I'm praying for you and Nicole, man. I, I really keys, hope you guys are safe. All the keys are about to get smashed, like. Austin Augie, you know, I you know, I I'm I'm got mixed feelings about it, bro. Like I'm happy to, that you're going down there to do something crazy, but at the same time, man, I'm just worried about you, dude. Like I I would hate to see you get hurt, dude. You're an awesome rider. Same with you, Adam. Like I, I would hate to see something happen to your drift cars. Shout out to Adam LZ, man. You got, you got, you got, you got, got cojones, balls. man. You got balls. You got big cojones, bro. But anyways, guys, we're gonna get out of here. Um, like I said, prayers to the families of the hurricanes, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Team Hybrid BMX. Later, guys. Deuces.